Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Lincoln and today I'm going to show you to make this clear reinforced hose. It's really quick and easy to do and we're going to use the curve and the radial symmetry and let's get into it. Alright, first thing we're going to do is add a cylinder and we're going to start with snapping to the front here real quick. Come up to the topology menu and we're going to drop this down to 6 and that gives us an instant nut shape already. It's perfect, it's way easier to do than anything else I've shown you guys to do I think. All right, so super easy, and we got that done. Let's go ahead and add another cylinder. And this one, I'm going to put about right there, I think. Squeeze it down. I want to just, just inside, just like that, it's perfect. Now that one I need to smooth up because it's pretty rough. They almost come out a little rough. And I'm going to go ahead and add one more cylinder, bring it down, stretch it way up because we're going to use this to cut through everything. Actually, I can go about right there. There we go. And You can, you can put the hole in the first cylinder, but I'm just going to use this and just cut through all these, which is fine. Okay, so I'm going to clone it because I'm going to do one other big one. I should have put a hole in the first ring, but that's fine. Okay, so we got that, and let's see. Nope. This one, this one, and we're going to voxel merge those. Keep that just sharp. Cut it. All right, that's perfect. And then this cylinder and go, oh, not that one, this one, this one, and this guy. All right, so let's go a little bit bigger on him. Okay, turn him off. Grab that one and we will box and merge again. Keep that just sharp. Okay, so we got our nut and the ferrule set. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is go ahead and bring in a torus. Now, I like the torus because it does make a nice smooth hose for you. And, you know, maybe not what you would think of first off for using these, you know, because you can use the tube tool you could use an actual cylinder, you know, just put the hole in it. But the torus makes a real nice smooth shape. And when you combine them all and then smooth them, they come out way smoother than anything else does. So that's why I prefer using these. So let's add a curve. Now, if it comes up like this and you don't have the dots, just hit the gizmo and turn it off and you'll have your dots for you. So let's just kind of do something like this. Okay, that works right there. Something like that. Oh, we need to bring it straight out of the coupling first. So I'll do a little bit longer one than the demo hose just to kind of show you it, it still works even if you do more. All right, we're gonna bring the count way up. And now since we are further away, I will go ahead and bring it down some because that will smooth this out some. Oops if we bring it shorter. So there is a limitation to it, but that does work pretty well. Now, if you just grab the torus without anything else and we stretch it up a little bit, that will help to smooth it out. And we can always hit this with a smooth brush. All right, so we li I like where that's at. Let's go ahead and Validate all of that. I'm going to go ahead and join the children. Yes. All right. So with this, I'm going to grab the smooth tool. And we'll just smooth this hose. Is it joined? Yeah. Smooth the hose off. Oh, it's like super crazy, isn't it? So we'll bring it up to about 500 and remesh it. And that should bring our topology down some, a little bit anyway. All right, so we'll smooth this off. Like I said, you can use the other ones if you want, but 
When you're doing the curves and the corners, these just always seem to do a little better. So smooth this out a little. Okay, now we can go ahead and make this clear. Let's go ahead and grab the refraction. We're gonna hit paint glossy and reflectance all the way up so you can see that it's a nice glossy hose. All right, so this one, let's go ahead and do some colors. Paint that one on this one. Let's paint like a blue. Oops, to have that one red. One red, this one, blue. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the crimp on this. So this piece on the crimp, grab the move brush, symmetry, and you just have to figure out which one it is. It should be this one, yep. So then we'll grab the move brush and move in and do the cramps. Oh, turn on symmetry. Do it again. There we go. Now we got them all six. Just kind of crimp it however you want. There you go. Makes a nice crimp. However you want. Okay. So then we can just grab both of those. These two we're going to join. And then we're going to clone them and use the gizmo, place it on the other one. You can grab that dot, it makes it a lot easier. Okay. Since the hose was off kind of a different direction, you just have to just get it placed. So the last thing is put some reinforcement in the hose and you're done. So what we'll do, let's see, let's lay all, all these just real quick so we don't lose track. Okay, because we're about to have more symmetry and radials. Okay. Last thing is, let's go to the front. We're going to add a cylinder. Turn on the gizmo. Make it much smaller. Stretch it. And go back to home again. Okay. And it's just whatever size you want to do this, however, whatever shape you wanted to use for the reinforcement, too. It doesn't really matter. Give it just a little bit of curve or camp to it. And you can flatten it out, whatever you want to do. Make it whatever size you want. And we're going to add a mirror to this one. And if you have snapped everything home and you're in the right position, this should be fine. If not, you'll just have to adjust your adjust them. We're going to validate it. I'm going to join the children and come up to the pivot and hit center and you'll fix that because it gets kind of off in space in the world origin. All right, and I'm not gonna worry about straightening it out yet, just yet, I'll move on a second. Just need to get it roughly where we want it first. Okay, now let's add a radio and We've got them there. They're just kind of hard to see. So let's bring up the rest of them. Out right there looks good. Okay. And so this one, now that you can see that we've got an issue seeing things, so you can come in and just adjust everything. Get rid of the index refraction. 
and that will fix that for you so it's in the hose and you can give it just a little bit but you don't want to give it too much otherwise you'll lose lose it all right there we go that looks pretty good Get that fixed now we have that have the radio in the mirror we're going to go ahead and go to the radio validate it join the children and we're going to adjust the size here now and get it stuck where we want that's pretty good we're going to we can adjust everything just a little bit in just a minute okay next thing pivot see if we can get it to go to the center it makes everything a lot easier grab your curve turn off gizmo put this one up here and then just start fitting it in your hose and this will take a second because this isn't just a flat line anymore You just want to get the first two kind of in place and then the rest of it will fall in. So just add your reinforcements, whatever pattern you want. And then just adjust it inside the hose. And you can also, if you want, it will help. You can turn on your other radiuses. And you can bring these down just a little bit and it will help get everything to fit where it looks right inside the hose like that you don't want to get too crazy with it though because then your sizes won't look quite right you can see your the amounts of these gaps right here so we'll fix that just by adding a few more so there you go nice reinforced hose makes it super easy and you can do this with anything as far as like colors and shapes. All right, that looks pretty good. Final tweaks. You know, you can always adjust anything you want. And then the cool thing is now that you have this all done, let's go ahead and validate that. We'll go ahead and join it, yes. And the cool thing is you can change the color of that. You know, if you're reinforcement, you want something a little bit different. So you want metal reinforcement in there instead. Now you've got metal reinforcement inside. All right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It is really easy to do, and you make some really cool hoses for your sculpts if you like. All right, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right, thanks.